Shimai GTA chums, the nightclubs are discounted this week, so I'll show you where you want to buy a nightclub and why. Um, it's a great business, and it's, you're going to need to buy one at some stage. But is it now? Who knows? I will. F you will find out with this video. Um, so here's my nightclub over by uh, the um, the beach there, the Vis Spooky Canals nightclub. That was the best one at the time, but honestly, I think this is probably better than La Mesa nightclub because, or even this one, um, the Mission Row, but La Mesa probably better because it's near all my warehouses and near the uh, Los Santos Tunas. In fact, you can pick that one as well, um, Cypress Flats. So, pro but probably La Mesa is the best location. Um, so, if you buy it, let's not buy it. Um, we also can renovate it as well, and so you, all those are discounted. Nightclub name, you can change that if you want. We've got the Palace, you can call it Galaxy, all sorts of Tony's Fun House. It's a bit uh, interesting. And we've also got the storage as well. So storage, um, first off, you've got car storage. Um, so for people who collect cars, you want to purchase that as you need it. And you also have the extra floor storage. Now, this is for your goods. Um, so we'll talk about that in a bit. But maybe you want to leave it as storage one or level two, um, just to start off with to get you going. But it means you do more frequent deliveries. Dancers, these, there's no need for any of this business, so, but you can buy them if you really want them. So let's go in and have a look at this, uh, this nightclub. Night spots, shall we? First off, you're going to have access to whichever levels you've purchased. So enter your nightclub to begin with. You've got basement level 1, 2, 3, 4, and the terabyte garage. So we're going to enter the nightclub because we're going to talk about the business side of it first off. Right, so here we are at the business end of things. Um, first off, Marcel tells us that one of the VIPs have passed out. Now, this is part of the popularity. So the nightclub itself will make money through this wall safe here. So if we open a safe, we'll be able to take out the 150 grand. I think it's about 250 grand maximum. So you need to be going to this regularly. That's why position of your nightclub is essential for your daily routines. So there we have, we've got the money. Notice that popularity bar on the bottom right hand side um, next to that wall safe money value. Now that is what we need to keep to maximum. So he said there's a person in the club who's a VIP that's in some trouble. Notice that blue on the radar. So on the radar, you've got the blue kind of person. We need to go and find that person and help them out or kick them out. Some of them are quite easy. This one is not an easy one. So I'll show you quickly this one. Get out, look at what the hell are these people doing in my way, man? Um, but I want to get to that person there. And if we press E, we're going to limo him away. Um, I'll quickly show you. This will, this will keep the reputation up. So if you regularly visit your... So every couple of hours, if you visit your... Um your nightclub, you'll be able to do missions like this. Okay. Sometimes it's just throwing somebody out, which is a lot easier than this. Notice that 1.32 miles. Now that would be dead easy if it wasn't for the fact that the VIP is a weakling. And they get spooked. So bottom right hand side is a spook bar. So you can't drive at maximum speed in most cars that they give you. Um, so you just have to slow down. Notice now he's getting spooked just because of the driving speed. And if you hit a car, it's going to be a nightmare. So it's a bit of a slight nightmare, but it's easy enough to do. It's not a problem at all. So we'll complete this right now. So here's our VIP delivered. Um, didn't get to maximum spookage, so they did not burn in the fires of hell, because basically they die if you get the bar to the maximum level. So that will replenish our reputation at the nightclub and keep us on a, a high roller, earning lots of money at the nightclub. So let's go back to the nightclub now. The other reputation mission is a lot easier. It's just simply kicking this idiot out for making trouble. And it's literally just walking up to him, pressing E, and then out you go, mate. Easy, and that will re increase reputation as well. So that's the one you really want to do rather than the other one. You'll need to start a biker gang or a security serve CEO gang uh, but in order to access the computer to do all of your nightclub management. Um, so let's have a look at that. So what are you going to manage in a nightclub? Well, first off, you can manage the resident DJ. So this is a nightclub side of it. And you book a new DJ for 100 grand. This will put your reputation to the ultra max and you won't need to come back to a nightclub for freaking ages, but it costs 100 grand. Um, I'd recommend you just do it with the usual business of coming daily um, to check out your, chuck people out and take people on VIP drives around the city. Um, but you can do that if you make a mistake and uh, you can rebook it for 10 grand, but it has a much more minor effect on reputation. 
Um, upgrades. Talking about upgrades, you could have a staff upgrade for your night legitimate nightclub. This will stop your popularity from going down as high. So it's worth purchasing this, but I'd purchase the equipment upgrade first because this will affect your warehouse goods um, to enable you to accrue more of those goods faster. And the security upgrade will protect those goods as well, but this is the very last one you purchase. I might, I'd probably hold on for that for a long time because goods-wise, you need to have really high levels to trigger a raid on your warehouse um, so probably about half that amount or some across the board um, to get those raids coming in without that security um, because I the way I sell it I sell it when you when you have um, a speedo is where the way I used to sell it when I ran it as a proper business now I just leave it in the background and do Kale Perico sell it when it's ultra full but when it, before I just did it when it was a speed or custom because that's the fastest van I'll show you the vans in a minute um, but you can sell all goods when you do a sale or you can sell just a few individuals I'll show you a, a sale at the end of the video while I talk about um, if it's worth it and summarize stuff um, so you can sell each individual item but talking about the items this is how you manage that and how you set it up so that you will get your your technicians duplicating all of your businesses pretty much um so here are your businesses they're, annoyingly they're renamed with different names so cargo and shipments is talking about um cargo you know like special cargo um sporting goods is talking about um the bunker business the um the gun running um so these two are excellent you'll have those straight away hopefully um, and one of these, such as the, the Coke, is obviously the best, um, the Safe American Imports. So the, I'd say that top line you'd want to be doing to make it properly both select and worthwhile as a business. Um, but, you know, the thing is, because because the uh, nightclub makes money on it by itself pretty good now, it's worth starting with any number of these, even just cargo and shipments with a small doodah there. Um, pharmaceutical is the meth. That is the next one to set, get started on um, value-wise. And then cash creation, um, you know, money laundering business, MC club. Um, that is the next one to get going on. I'd leave these two to the end on not even bother at all, to be quite honest, because I think you make so much off them anyway and that it's almost not worth it if you're doing regular sales. Because when you've got, um, when you've got five, haven't you? You've got five technicians. You only need to be doing five businesses really and doing just reg more regular sales rather than just obsessively trying to fill your, your nightclub up. And um, that's probably the best way of doing it. But try, by all means, do try and fill it up to the max just for the hell of it. Um, resident DJs, what else can we do here? Oh, promote the club. So this is this. This triggers really annoying missions where you just drive around the city um, sticking leaflets to buildings or you drive a zeppelin which is really slow and really annoying and people will blow you up in a populated lobby. Um, so for that reason I never do these. I rely on the other methods. The resident, either the resident DJ purchase the rebook or I will do the missions um, to, to promote my club ultimately. So I think that is it. Oh yeah, I talked about the supply as well. So um, with your supplies, there is another way of getting supplies, which is you can source supplies for your nightclub in uh, business battles, but you can also phone some dude called Johan who will provide you with a similar mission to the business Johan battle. So there we go, request goods if you fancy doing that. But I prefer to do it passively most of the time. On basement level one, you can customize all of your delivery vehicles for the nightclub duplicated goods. And you can also have some fun with, for example, the Speedo with its mega gun, which you can mount on the top. Um, a couple of options on that as well. Very nice vehicle. And there's also the God Mode idiots as well. On basement level two, three and four, you can keep your car collection. A lovely garage there. On the terabyte level, you can customize your terabyte. Now, the terabyte, terabyte is essential for a few missions, unique missions that it provides, but also you can uh, if provides efficiencies to your business, and also you can upgrade the Oppressor Mark II and put missiles on it and become a griefer with this. I tried to do a sale, but I failed because I'm on PC and people crashed my session a number of times. There were griefers as well. But if you're going to do a sale, make sure you expand your radar so that you can see griefers coming, especially the jet griefers with the explosive rounds. If you see them, they're coming for you, then make sure you find a new session. You'll lose a minuscule amount of goods, but you'll retain most of it to do the sale later on. Um, but we're at the conclusion bit. 
Is it worth it? Yes, of course it is. A million is super cheap for what you get. Um, but you may have other businesses to buy first. It's best when combined with other businesses such as crates, a coke, gun running, that kind of thing. So that are, those are the things to bear in mind. Um, but it's brilliant, well worth it eventually. So if any is useful, then do drop a like. Give me your comments on what you think of this. Did I miss anything? Got any questions? Then do let me know. But overall, have a most excellent day and stay away from those bleeding griefers. Thank you for watching.